Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create gate valve, non-ray stem, rivet family. In this video, I will create 5 parts of gate valve, hand wheel support, hand wheel, bonnet, bolt holder, and main body, and then load into and combine in the main body family. I refer this manufacturer's specifications to create CSV file. This is lookup table, CSV file. Its data are referred from the manufacturer specifications. I use constant number, the smallest size, for default if not found. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. To create part 1, hand wheel support. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 150 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for length. Select instance and click OK. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for L1. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for C. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for L1 parameter. Formula is L divided by 2. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 26 mm and fillet the angle. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert diameter dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for diameter. Select instance and click OK. Finish the sweep. Back to front view. Go to create. Select the void sweep. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Draw place line. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in front or back view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert diameter dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for SD. Select instance and click OK. Finish the void sweep. Back to front view. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to SD. Finish the void extrusion. Back to front view. 
Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Save the family. To create hand wheel family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 24mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for C. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 12mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and assign parameter to C. Go to create. Select the sweep. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Sketch path. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert diameter dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for L. Select instance and click OK. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert diameter dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for SD. Select instance and click OK. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Go to reference level. Insert and load the created family into hand wheel family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Associate length parameter to length. Associate C parameter to C. Associate SD parameter to SD. Assign diameter parameter to bolt size. Select instance and click OK. Select the family. Select the rotate and copy. Place on intersection point. And rotate to 72 degrees. Select the existing reference plane. And create a similar. Select the reference plane. Select the rotate and copy. Place on intersection point. And rotate to 90 degrees. Select the reference plane and pin it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Do the same process for the rest hand wheel support. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the sweep. 
sketch path and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to SD. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter. Select instance and click OK. Do the same process for the rest. Save the family. To create bonnet, open the new family. Select the generic model face space and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 78 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 40 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for HD offset. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 78 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for D1. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for D1 parameter. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the void extrusion. Back to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the reference object and temporary hide it. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Save the family. To create bolt and holder. Open the new family. Select the generic model face space and open it. This is Hex Bold Head Family. You can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. I will use this family and load into Bold Family. Insert and load the created family into Bold Family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Assign nominal diameter to bold size. Select instance and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for bold height. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Align to bold head and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 16 mm and create similar. 
insert dimension and assign parameter to bolt size. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Insert dimension and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Save the family. To create main family, open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to family category and parameter. Select pipe accessories for family category and select valve breaks into for part type. Set and select class number for liquid service. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 110 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 78 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 115 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for L. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 19 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for C. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 3 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for T. Select instance and click OK. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 90 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for D1. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 39 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 110 mm and create similar. 
Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to D. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 60 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for HD offset. Select instance and click OK. Go to left view. Go to create. Select the swept blend. Sketch path and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile 1 in reference level. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile 2 in reference level. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the swept blend. Check in 3D view. Back to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 78 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for D1. Go to family type. Add formula for D1. Formula is D divided by 2. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for SD. Select instance and click OK. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Back to front view. Align the geometry to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Back to front view. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for HD. Select instance and click OK. Set 19 mm value of HDSA default. Add formula for HD parameter. Click apply and OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for SH. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for SH parameter. Click Apply and OK. Go to Create. Select the extrusion. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level.
Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Back to front view. Align the geometry to the reference plane and lock it. Select the geometry. Mirror to top. Align the geometry to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for nominal diameter. Select Instance and click OK. Set 100 mm nominal diameter value as default. Add a new parameter for nominal radius. Select Instance and click OK. Add formula for nominal radius. Formula is diameter divided by 2. Click Apply. Add a new parameter for age. Select instance and click OK. Set 366 mm H value as default. Add a new parameter for bold size. Select instance and click OK. Go to Manage Lookup Table. Import the CSV file. Add a new parameter for Lookup Table. Select Text for Type and select Other for Group. Add parameter value for Lookup Table. The value is CSV name. Add formula for L. Click Apply. Add formula for H. Click Apply. Add formula for D. Click Apply. Add formula for D1. Click Apply. Add formula for D. Click Apply. Add formula for C. Click Apply. Add formula for T. Click Apply. Add formula for HD. Click Apply. Add formula for SD. Click Apply. Add formula for BS. Click Apply. Check and play the parameter. Parameters are working. Insert and load the created family into main family. Place family on face. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Associate HD offset to HD offset. Associate D to D. Insert and load the created family into main family. Place family on face. Select the family. Associate bold size to bold size. Assign BH parameter to BH. Select instance and click OK. Assign the material parameter to material. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to Family Type. Add formula for BH parameter. Click Apply and OK. Select the family and mirror to opposite side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the geometry. Edit the extrusion. 
align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the editing. Select the family. Create similar and place on face. Associate the parameter. Select the family and mirror to opposite side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 366 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to H. Go to 3D view. Insert and load the created thread rod family into main family. Go to reference level. Drag and drop the thread rod family to the reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for SL. Select Instance and click OK. Add formula for SL parameter. Click Apply and OK. Select the family. Associate length parameter to SL. Associate nominal diameter parameter to SD. Back to front view. Move up the thread rod and align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 92 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter for HD offset. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Draw another circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to SH. Select the circle and mirror to opposite side. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to SH. Insert diameter dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to HD. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to SH. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Insert and load the created hand wheel family into main family. 
Align to the reference plane and lock it. Back to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select the family. Associate bolt size to bolt size. Associate C parameter to C. Associate L parameter to L. Associate SD parameter to SD. Assign the material parameter to material. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Select the geometry. Edit visibility graphic override. Uncheck detail level for coarse and medium. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on face of valve. Select pipe connector. Set global for system classification and K coefficient for loss method. Associate the diameter to nominal diameter parameter. Go to reference level. Select right side reference plane and name it. Back to 3D view. Go to create. Select pipe connector. Set work plane and select the reference plane. Select pipe connector and associate the diameter to nominal diameter parameter. Set global for system classification and K coefficient for loss method. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the void sweep. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Insert dimension and assign parameter to nominal radius. Finish the void sweep. Check in 3D view. Back to front view. Select the void sweep and mirror to right side. Select the void sweep and go to edit. Finish the void sweep. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the paint and metallic. Replace paint metallic blue. Duplicate the asset and rename it. You can adjust the color here if you want. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Back to front view. Go to create. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Edit visibility graphic override. Uncheck detail level for fine and front or back view. Draw model line for detail level for coarse and medium. Do the same process for front and back view.
check in 3D view. Save the family. This is whole family for object penetration. You can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. Insert and load the created this family into main family. Go to left view. Drag family and place to face of family. Select the family. Associate hold diameter parameter to HD. Associate T parameter to C. Associate K parameter to D1. Assign the number of hole parameter to N. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Add formula for N parameter. Click apply and OK. Back to front view. Select the family and mirror to right side. Select the family and edit work plane. Pick up a new work plane. Check in 3D view. Go to reference level. Align bolt to the reference plane and lock it. This is flange with bolt nut family. You can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. I use this family and load into project to test the valve family. Let test the family in the project. Open a new project. Select the mechanical template for testing and open it. Insert and load this family into project. Go to system and draw a pipe. Select the pipe segment. Go to edit type and select the flange. Insert and load the created family into project. Place the valve to the pipe. Select the valve and check in 3D view. Back to level and draw and check in different pipe sizes. Select the valve. Create similar and place to each pipe. Check in detail level. Check in 3D view. OK, the creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.